Welcome to Roland Academy's support tutorial video series. Setting up network connectivity for a Roland printer or printer cutter using Intercon NetTool software. Part 1 Verifying Network Settings on a PC. We'll begin by going to the Start menu, going into the All Programs folder, Accessories, and launch a utility called Command Prompt. There's also a faster way to open the Command Prompt window. That's by going to the search window and typing in CMD, which immediately opens up the Command Prompt window. Now we're going to type in IPconfig, which is an application to display TCP IP network settings. The information displayed by IPconfig includes the IP address of the computer, the subnet mask and the default gateway that we'll need to know before we can set the values in the printer. We can view more detailed network settings by going into the control panel, clicking on the network and internet, then selecting view network status and tasks. From there we can click on local area connection, which gives us a pop-up window which displays local area connection status and details. In the details window, we can see that the DHCP is enabled, which means an IP address is assigned automatically, and the information is the same as in the IP config network utility. Now there's also a properties button that we can click on, and this gives us all the different network protocols. We want to click on TCP IP v4, and again click on the properties tab for TCP IP v4, and see that it is set again for IP address configured automatically by DHCP. So we're not changing any settings, we're just going to close these windows, but this is another way of viewing the same data that we found by using the ipconfig system utility. So it's important to understand the settings and where to find them in Windows. Now Windows also has a shortcut you can use to view those network settings. You can type in ncpa.cpl in the search window, press the enter key, and then it'll take you directly to the local area connection icon. From there you can right click on the icon, click on status, and again it opens up that local area connection status window much faster. From there again when we look at uh, details, it's the same information we saw before in ipconfig. We can again double check the properties, make sure that when we look at the different protocols, we make sure we select TCP IP v4, click on properties, and again make sure that DHCP is enabled and the IP address is assigned automatically for the PC. So this is a much faster way without having to scroll through as many windows and gives you the same information. Part 2, Installing Intercon NetTool Software. We can launch the Intercon NetTool installer from the original CD or from the support section of the Roland DGA website. The tech support wizard takes us to a support page where we can select the appropriate model and then see a listing of related user manuals, training videos, and software utilities related to our printer. Now under this list of utilities we'll see the Intercon NetTool print server. When we click on this link a window opens up that allows us to run the installer directly or if it's more convenient, we can choose to save the exe file for installation later. We'll click Run to start the installation process immediately after downloading. Once the download is complete, the Intercon NetTool installer begins automatically. Select English as a language, and after the welcome screen and license agreement, the installer creates a program folder called Intercon NetTool. Intercon NetTool is a relatively small program that installs very quickly. So once the installation is completed, just click Finish. Now if we minimize the browser window, you'll notice on the desktop that a shortcut's been created for Intercon NetTool. Part 3, Using Intercon NetTool to Configure Network Settings. At this point, connect your Roland device to your computer directly via a crossover cable, or your Ethernet network via a switch or hub and a standard patch cable. Now we can launch Intercon NetTool. 
And the first step is to click on the Rebuild icon, which scans our network for the IP address of connected printers. Within a few seconds, we can see that the software found only one Roland device on the network. If we select the device on the list, we can check to make sure that there isn't anything else on the network. By clicking on the plus icon on the IP list, we can see that there's only one new print server available. The red X means that it can't completely communicate with the device. This printer's IP address is set to the factory default of all zeros. Now if I want to change the IP address, I can right click on it and select IP wizard or from the menu bar select the IP wizard icon. IP wizard allows me to enter in the IP address manually. We'll see a dialog box will open up in a few seconds and now I can enter in an IP address. In this case the value we've chosen is compatible with our current network settings. So I'm typing in 192 and then tabbing over to 168 1 and then 25 for the last set of digits for the IP address. Follow that by entering the subnet mask and gateway address. In this case you'll notice that's already pre-populated with 255, 255 and 0 which is compatible with what we have. And lastly the gateway address is going to be 192, 168, 1 and 1. Now it's important to start off with values that you've checked with your network administrator or with your network settings as previously shown in this video to make sure that all these values will work together. And once we've entered the last value for the gateway, we can leave the multicast router's gateway box checked on. Now for direct connection via crossover cable, no gateway value is needed. Once we're finished, we can say next and the IP wizard will store these values. Now we can just see one last time. We can confirm the values we've entered for the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway. Once we're finished, we can just click on the finished button. Now Intercon Net Tool displays the message property saved and print server is restarting. We click OK to close this window and we'll notice that we'll see a change in the IP address in the Intercon Net Tool window. You'll notice that the IP address has been updated to 192.168.1.25 and also the printer icon is now visible on screen. So we got full connectivity, we've got the Roland print server identified, the printer model, the SP540V, port status OK, and protocol TCP IP is recognized. Once the port status is OK and the model is identified, and the IP address is confirmed, essentially we're done. If we want to go back and check, we can click on Refresh, Find New, or Rebuild to see if there's another printer on our network. If we want to change the IP address, we can go back to IP Wizard and set up a different IP address for the printer we've identified. So at this point, we're done, and we can exit Intercon Net Tool. Part 4, Adding the Network Settings for a Roland Printer or Printer Cutter in VersaWorks. Now that we've configured the network settings for a Roland device and connected it to our network, we're ready to launch Roland VersaWorks. When launching Roland VersaWorks for the first time, we'll see a Printer Settings window that allows us to manually add in the IP address of the printer we just configured on our network we're going to type in the same IP address as entered in Intercon Net Tool. In this example, it's going to be 192, 168, 1, and 25 for the last value. Then we click on Verify to confirm that Roland VersaWorks identifies the printer on the network. Afterwards, you'll see that it recognizes the printer model name, serial number, and shows the status as ready to print. Then we can click OK to confirm the settings we've entered. We'll see a dialog box ask us to install the printer driver. We can say no at this point and just continue launching into VersaWorks. You'll see in the main window that the printer status is displayed as ready to print and we can go into the printer settings window which gives us the ability to add multiple devices. So by clicking on the plus icon, 
we can add another Roland device up to four in total, connected and run by VersaWorks at the same time. In this case, I'll click Cancel, and then go to the menu and select Printer Status. Printer Status gives us the model name, IP address, as well as serial number, printer status, and ink levels, all within one single viewing window. So this is a good reference for the printer status. I'll click OK. And now we can go back to the main window and say Add Jobs to Queue. And we can add jobs into either QA or QB and start printing from VersaWorks. This concludes our support tutorial video. For additional tutorial and workshops, please visit RolandDGA.com forward slash training forward slash workshops.